everyone, I'm Alethea and I'm here to bring a first impression slash kind of review on Viv uh, Maybelline's Vivid Matte. Now, I believe there are about eight colors in there, but a lot of them are sold out and I decided to get most of the reds because I usually don't wear red, mostly because they come off really easily when you eat or drink stuff and red is a very bold statement color and it's kind of hard to wear without any other makeup on so i think like mattes would be better colors and i found these in shim sha cho's watson's i believe because i can't i couldn't find them in other places like sasa bonjour other watson's i couldn't they're not out there yet and these retail for about 89 dollars a piece and i got four of the maybe eight colors I've got hmm I've got matte number six matte number eight matte number nine and matte number eleven now I'll okay this is matte number six it's more of a pink hue and I'll put this on my lips too No, not sponsored by this. This is the old mirror. I like that it has a pointy doe applicator to get into the sides, the edges of the lips. So it ends up being like this. It's actually not shiny at all. It's more like a lip balm kind of shininess. Um, maybe it'll dry down to a matte. But it feels pretty comfortable on the lips. Okay, let me see. So this is matte number six. And it has the same packaging as the liquid lip glosses stuff that Maybelline also has and it doesn't seem very matte come on dry 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 in order to um hurry this process up I'm gonna blot and I still leave traces but I didn't say that it wouldn't okay blotting it off like really makes it really matte Okay, and so I'll try on the next color. I mean, they're all red, so this will be matte number eight. This is a bright fire engine red. <laughs> this is a quite bright fire engine red. It's still not drying down my hand though, which is kind of surprising. It's kind of orangey red. Hmm. I'm kind of where that is. This is a really nice, bright, bold color. I kind of like this. Whoa, that's red when I look inside my mirror. That's really red. Okay. So, by supposing now, I wipe that off. Probably won't get most of it off. You see? I have really dried cat lips right now. Uh, mistake. I didn't exfoliate before I tried. So, I'm going to take my Briori makeup wipes it's it's pretty good but it does taste weird when you wipe your lips with it and you lick your lips if you do lick your lips after you do a makeup wipe I mean it just says vivid matte like lip thing so 
it's a vivid match. It didn't say it would last long. Well, let's hope it does. Okay, let's try. What's this? Wait, I did match eight. Let's do mat number nine. Oh, this is a red I could definitely wear. Come on, light. This is a way better red. And something something more professional that I could definitely wear. If you rub your lips together, it just really blends it out really quickly. So if you actually, you can build it up to get the color that you want. Or you can just like put on one coat on the bottom and just rub it and it just blends. Which could be either a good thing or a bad thing. This is my second coat. And now I'm not letting it dry. Because I don't like letting things dry. Then I'll be very dry. <laughs> Wait, that's not funny. I'm trying to build it to the same red. It's kind of hard. So this would be... Where is it? This bottom red? This is mat number nine. And let's do a quick blot I'm out of those tissues. Do a quick blot, a lot of color comes off, so I really would wait for each layer to dry in order to get that opacity. I should really glue this. I use this mirror a lot. It does come off pretty easily though. But that's because it's probably, it's really moisturizing though. It's really moisturizing. That's interesting for a matte kind of liquid lipstick. Hmm. I've had another one by, shoot, I can't remember the brand. It's almost a dupe for the NYX um, matte cream glosses, but like that one was, it's super matte and it's very dry and I can't even. Okay, let's try the one I was most excited for, matte number 11, and it's like, let's see if I can get the right lighting. Well, no, I can't get the right lighting. Well, well. Let's just take this thing. It's supposed to be a dark, dark nart. Ooh, I love this. This is really nicely dark red. Oh god, I love this. You can see one swipe. Oh, gorgeous. Holy crap. And this is just one dip into this little thing. I This is my favorite shade of them all. Matte 11. You girl, girl. This is my type of red. It's a nice, dark, kind of like professional red. But like a, it's not even a wine red. It's like lighter than wine red. There, that's almost the color. It's kind of shiny like my face is. That's because I just finished washing my face. But it's a really nice gorgeous red. 
Come on. Yeah, it's a really nice, gorgeous red, and I will be wearing this. This is such a holiday color. It's like seductive. Yeah, I like this. The other two, the this first one's kind of like a nice fuchsia color, but it's more like a muted fuchsia color. Second one's a matte, uh, number eight, and it's more of a not exactly a fire engine red, but like a fire engine red with a lot more orange to it. And then the third one is, I would say a normal, almost like, kind of like a true red. True red. If you girls out there know what I'm talking about, it's a true red. And my favorite, of course, is matte number 11. So, go check those out. And thanks for watching my first impressions. This is comfortable. Bye. Until the next video.